Another shrimp, lots of urchins. It's tomorrow. A little bit of a ledge here. There might be something hiding under it. Can we uh, get a snap zoom under the ledge? Sure. Can take your time, actually. Okay, video, let's start to go in there. Hold that. Thank you. Maybe a dead cup coral on the right. Yes. Nope. Yes. Okay, thank you. Nothing living. I it's mean, like no green living corals. Yes. It's a green thing. Green thing. We don't see a lot of green down here, do we? A little ball right uh, on top of the ledge. Yeah, you want to zoom in, snap that? Okay. All right, full wide. Yellow-green sponge. And pushing out. Oh, there's a coral right there. Start to zoom in on that coral in the center of the screen there. Right by the fish. <laughs> the Christogorgia. All right, Jeff, it looks like there is something a little bit ahead. So once you're done with this guy, I need you to push out. Okay. Don't see any associates on it. Okay, let's go full wide. And I'm um, pushing out, Bobby. Yeah, and it's kind of coming and going. I increased my altitude some and it's disappeared. Oh, now I see it again, so yeah, straight ahead. Can you get a peek under that ledge? Sure, let's. Come down a little bit. Let's go in video. Is that uh, good enough, Andrew? Yeah, or? thanks. It's good. Okay. Dead cup coral in the sediment. Out wide, pushing ahead. Anthemastus. Yeah, I think it might be this that I've been seeing. Okay. Take a quick zoom on this fella. Yeah, and if you can also bear back to the left a little. Okay. That's good. We got that, Jeff. Okay, full wide. Thanks. And you said back to the left, Bob? Yeah, back to the left. That's where the slope is coming from. And so that's the area I like to have lit up a little bit more. If you can push up, up and straight forward, that would be perfect, actually. Okay. Let's see what's up there first. Your overhead's clear. More of the same. Have we seen any xenophyophores on this dive? Yeah, Jeff, if you can... I don't think can... we have. See, I'm seeing these 
kind of sharp lines here mm. out at 25 meters. Okay. Yeah, Andrew, I don't think so. All right, you're coming into over hangy-ish type stuff, so uh, it's short. Okay. They were fairly abundant yesterday, um, but I don't th recall seeing them on our USGS hazard site too dive either. If you can do me a favor and lateral so left to get to my left side of the screen. Yesterday. That'd make Call me a lot factor. more comfortable. You got it. Yeah, Sorry, I was just there. referring to the day before about the sediment. Just a little bit more and then uh, yes, push forward. And you'll mm -hmm. be fine. Okay. Thank you, Pilot. You betcha. Go ahead, Bridge. Thank you for all your help. Thank you. Well, it's, uh, I'm just a little more comfortable this way now because you're on the slope side of me. Okay, Pilots, the ship is coming to a stop. Okay. Should we keep it going? Yeah, I think we can keep it going. Yeah. Let's do that again. Sure. That was fun. Let's do it again. I'm going to change our heading a little, a few degrees. All right. What do you want it at? Um, let's see. Based on these contour lines, something like 195. Okay. Kind of follows the contour. And we'll go another 40 meters, if that's okay with you guys. Yeah, that should be okay. Okay. A little more to the right, eh, Bobby? Yeah, a little bit more to the right. Okay, about this direction. Bridge, this is now. Yeah, if you head that direction, you'll eventually make it happen. What are you uh, two chatting like to put in another about ship up move? there? Uh, 40 meters at Not 195 there. degrees and 0.1 knots. Yep, they're thanks. planning their moves. So we just right, did a 40 meter ship now. move and we're going to do another 40 meter ship move. Keeping the, keeping the train going. So yeah. there is a... I don't always have the, the channels open <laughs> on the pilot, co-pilot and nav. Watch lead, uh, co-pilot. Go ahead. If yeah, there are ahead. steeper walls, are you interested in checking them out? As long as we're, as long as we're still moving southerly, yes. Okay. If you look at, uh, Serio sonar, which seems to indicate a little bit steeper wall or section of wall. Um, I don't think it's too tall, but it's a little bit out of our way that we're moving. What so we could always. Uh, uh, it's disappearing now as I come up. Uh, you may actually be looking at it there, the Jeff. Never mind, watch lead. Can we get a zoom on that coral? Yeah, Bobby, we've been, we kind of came, came up into the depth range went? and saw a really large vertical wall, and um, we just need to make it more south. Okay. So we have another crinoid here. We were talking about crinoids earlier being living fossils. So fossils of crinoids were found before the actual uh, living organism was collected. So these are types of call it living fo living fossils pilot when you're done with that guy i'm going to need you to come back to me okay let's go full wide please turning right and getting back in the picture and push out over these rocks works for me Just to update everyone, our off-bottom time is going to be 3.20 local time, so a little less than an hour from now. Roger that. Thanks, Nav. Yeah, there's the wall I was seeing on uh, sonar. Right. I don't think it's a very tall one, but that's what I was seeing. Okay. So now... You see horizontal stratification again here.
back to those vertical cliff faces with the overhang. So maybe we'll start to see some of the uh, cup corals and other things like that that we've seen on previous dives underneath the overhangs. Yeah, we've seen a few. We did see a few live cup corals earlier today, and they were very small. Um, yeah. But sometimes when we look under these ledges, they're just remnants of dead cup corals. Yep. Where are you heading, pilot? Sliding right. Roger that. Can you snap into that um, th three ledges kind of? Um, the stratification? Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Um, just zoom. Oh, come on. Yeah, zoom in there. So there's the larger band at the bottom and then two bands above it. A few Chrysogorgia colonies at a depth 2077. Sure. Got a little bit. Let's go for a small anemone. Gotten away from the wall too far. The portion of this uh, clear off. Okay, I'm going to push ahead and then turn. Eventually, I'm going to need you to head up and over that. Oh, because well, that's where I'm an heading. Enemy. You're going up over. All right. Well, I'm pointing at you, and you're going against it. So. Right. All right, I just pull out a little bit here and then I'll turn, face the wall. And let's go up the wall. You want to snap zoom underneath that ledge and where those three pink sea stars are? Let's go in and zoom. Right about there. Push in a little bit. So three brisingids. See a chrysogorgia on top of the wall. But nothing really growing underneath. Too much. Oh, there may be a cup coral on the left. Sorry, coming back. Video, I might need a little. Another start to crinoid. There we go. Thanks. Okay, and go in again. Okay. Full wide. You come out, Jeff. Thanks. Yep. Time to push up. up and right. Pushing up, pushing right. I think we have to come up and then over it. Yeah. Up, go. Got some time to look at this stuff, Jeff. If you want to turn left and okay, do you want me to get over the in the center of your picture? Or? If you want, you can well, cheat over that way a little bit. Yeah, I'd feel better if I was there. If I'm gonna take a pause, what you could do is grab that edge 
Goes lateral right and then turn and face the wall. Yeah, you're uh, pulling me. Very unstable here. In terms of this canyon wall. If you could stop going forward, Jeff, you're at the end of your tether. We're at a depth of 2064. So maybe back up, actually. I just slide to the left a little bit. Slide left or back up and come down. Both are options. Nav, uh, let's actually bring ship to an easy stop here. Sure. Well, if I come left, I'm out of your view. Yeah, you're. That's so why I'm bringing us to an easy stop. Cause bridge. We're this not is not sure what you want me to do. You just hold your position right, uh, there. Can we bring the ship to an easy stop here? Thank you. Take a partial zoom on that. And Nev, can we get a... Video, take a partial zoom on that. Can we get a 10 meter move due south, please? Ooh, this is different. Due south? Yes. Okay, that's gonna bring us closer to the wall. Yeah, I wanna get closer to the wall. Is that a dead okay, sponge sure. above We've lost the it? edge of the wall, and I'm going out into black nothingness. Okay. So I need to get in closer to pilot, and then we'll reacquire which way the walls are going and uh, adjust our moves. Copy that. So I'm coming in back in you, in okay. close to you, pilot. I'm just trying to hold this. Based on sonar, our, we've lost there. our edge. Okay. And so we need to kind of reacquire and get a new game plan. Bridge, this is Nav. Uh, could we put in a move for 10 meters due south at 0 0.1 knots? You can zoom in more. Yeah, that's correct. Thanks. We're at a depth of 2065. Okay, Time is 1432, just Im imaging a sea star. So you have some time there, Jeff. All right, let's get this red thing in the center right now. There's an enemy in the wall, a few sponges, a kinus. I think in terms of fauna today, um, that's really been about it. Um, several glass sponges, Chrysogorgia, octocorals. We have seen a few Anthemastis colonies and one Achenella bamboo coral. A few different sea stars today than we've noted on previous dives. The white brittle stars covering the soft sediment. Okay, let's Ophio go on. Museum, and then on the Sponges, we've found uh, different brittle stars. What else today? A couple squat lobsters, different species again than we've seen on previous dives. Black coral, we had a few black corals in the beginning, bathopathies. And just a few fishes, brochulids, uh, brat tail or two, macrarid. And a few water column, mictophids and gonostomatids, lantern fishes and bristle mouse. Is it numerous urchins. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Is it, Is it um, 
Do you expect to see less fish the deeper you go? Absolutely. Yeah. It seems to be the overall trend. It's that red thing in the middle video. It's Anthomastis with the polyps retracted. Ophio Museum Brittle Star, and to the right, the pink octocoral is Anthomastis, and you can see that the polyps have been retracted. Okay, let's go for what? All right, you should have a little more tether to scoot to your right. Okay. Just a few meters. So what would cause this staining on the rock or coating? Uh, a couple of things. There uh, be some uh, manganese staining. Um, my preferred um, reason out here would be uh, just oxidation. Um, there, the sediments out here contain a lot of uh, iron sulfides in the form of hydrotriolite. So much like uh, Let's go in pyrite video. or fool's gold. So when it's exposed um, to either air or the ocean water, it will oxidize, cause a, cause a black staining. We see it a lot in, in our sediment cores. Mm -hmm. It can be uh, sometimes form crust. So, you know, it can Let's look like manganese again. coatings, which also form these kind of crusts, but they, uh, they usually don't look like this. Well, I would think it's uh, some kind of oxidation product of uh, minerals in the in the Great. Sediment. Good, thank you for that. What's our next move, Bobby? Well, I want you to keep heading out that way and so we can so figure out. So we're still moving south. We're at a depth of 2063. What it's going to be. Uh, was there a particular the depth range okay. uh, shore side that you'd like to and I'm move along at this point? I'm not convinced what direction it's heading. Right. Due south continues us. Can we get a zoom on the sponge coming in center? Go ahead, sure. Rich. Thank you. Okay, pilots, the ship is coming to a stop. Okay. Okay, video. It's pink brittle star on the glass sponge or hexactinellid sponge. Watch lead co-pilot. Watch lead co-pilot. Thanks, Jeff. Yep, full wide. Oh, I'm sorry, go, go ahead. Are you gonna wanna want us to continue south? Yes. All right. Thanks. Yeah, Andrea, I'm trying to come up with a reach. Do you think you can pull off the wall a little bit and just kind of look depth. down and it? And I know we're about the, three meters the length of it over the distance. And I don't think so I have a preference. Turn to your right. Okay. Yep. It's a big crinoid up, right? Yeah, I'll come back in for that crinoid. We're just going to take a look in the direction that we're going to go here. Do you guys have a crinoid count today in Try terms of different right species? There, I, I know we saw one different one growing on the... Yeah, it's about two south. The, uh, attached to the glass Isn't sponge. It? And then right. these stocked ones with the so darker... So co-pilot. That's a look about due south. Feathers. I don't think we want to head that route. Uh, so if you want to pull us just a little bit west of south... Okay. Uh, we can you kind can of parallel this wall. Too. Sure. Too conservative. Yeah, I think uh, 195 yeah. should do it. Uh, can we do a little bit slimmer? Yeah. Like 190 maybe? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. 
Yeah, I would say we want to go in, uh, <coughs> 40 more meters. Yeah, that should be fine. Just FYI. Not take us long. Okay, long uh, okay long video. Let's get this crinoid. Sorry, can you repeat that? I missed that. Southwest. Yes. Um, I believe in order to go avoid going so shallow that we miss kind of the steeper part of the promontory, Bridge, we're going to want to essentially head due southwest at this point, like 210. Uh, we'd like uh, it to sounds like what the pilots just called is something closer uh, to that. 40 due meters south is not going to work. At anymore. 190 degrees and 0.1 knots. Yeah, uh, they're calling 190, which is going to keep us on the face. And but that, that's fine. Yeah. Yep, so that's not it. due south is unlikely Thanks. to work anymore. Sometime in somewhere in the okay. one eight five to two one five range. Yep, we'll got help it. Let's follow that contour without getting too shallow. We don't want to go shallower, I would say, than twenty fifty five at the shallowest. Okay. Watch leads, co pilot here. Go uh, for it. Our plan is to head right along this face, uh, heading about one nine one nine zero. Uh, and maintain this face. And now listening to science we'll make sure that we don't go any shallower. Thank you. Okay. Bobby, you want to trade off in about five minutes? Whatever. You seem to be in the groove if you want to keep it. Is there something on the bottom of that rock? This is different. The structure here appears to be a little different. Very blocky. A lot of fractures. OK, video, let's uh, go partial on sort of mini promontories, <laughs> whatever that is. I see a brittle star. It's another one of those green sponges to the left. Yep, see the green sponge. Cool. But can we get a zoom on the brittle star before? Yep. <laughs> yes, yep. yeah, thank yep. you. Yep. Hey, I just keep pulling it in. Where is it? A brosingid. It's weird. Some tube worms there. Can you get any closer in? Uh, Can you get any closer into that? Uh, maybe. Uh, let's go full wide and I'll try and set it up a little better. What was that video? Uh. Oh, the servos for the. No, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. It's, I've never looked into them. That's something Dave Wright would have an idea on. Go ahead, Science. Yeah, we're moving at 190 degrees right now. So right along the contour. 40 meters. Okay, let's try it again, yeah. video. Maybe it's just a dead sponge with an oaf on it. Looks like it. So I'm coming in at the wrong angle if you want to see the brittle star. 
check out your uh, That's okay. I'm actually just curious right. what it's yeah. yeah. Sorry. Check out your port rail cam. You're right up uh, yeah. against. Let me just move out here and turn and see if I can. Oh, full wide, please. <laughs> Thanks. Jeff, I'm, I'm happy with that. We can keep oh, going. Okay. All right. Yeah, I tried to set up. I was, it was on the wrong side of the. Yeah, that's fine. There's a little bit more of a wall below you, as opposed to this gentle-ish slope. There's something um, behind. It's white. Oh, yes. OK. There's a sponge on the top and then something below it. Right. Got it. Another hexactinellid sponge. Can we go in partial on that? Hold there. That's good. And then if you move up to get the sea star and the other sponge. Thank you. See suprelid worm tubes on the face. A lot of boring hydroids. Two different sponges. Okay, video. Four. And a sea star. A different one than we've seen on this dive. We're at a depth of 2060. The local time is 1447. A wall on this face. Okay. Uh, it's not, in, well, it's directly ahead of me now, but I'm not facing the way we're going. So if you continue some meters, you know, along, along this face, you'll probably get to a flat wall section. Okay. Uh, just, behind, just past this rubble section, I imagine there's a wall. Try to head more due south along this. Uh, they want, don't want us coming up so much. Okay. Yes, thanks, Bobby. I'm coming back down, giving you some tether. Am I out in front of you? You're off to my side. Okay, well, I don't want to move just a little bit to the right, or I'll. No, you don't want to move to the right, but you want to push forward. Right. And maintain this depth. Right. 
Looks like a little ledge coming along here. I think up in your top left corner, you can see just the uh, starts of a wall. Okay. Can you kind of move along that, keep that in view? Sure, sure can. Actually, Bobby, let's trade off. You want to trade off? Yeah. Okay. Just pull back away from this a little bit. Thanks, Jeff. You bet. We're at a depth of 2058. Time is 1450. We are still moving to our promontory feature. Uh, the ship is at about 190, south, southwest. Hello, Bobby. Hello. <laughs> How's the back row? Excellent. Thank you for asking. We're not. Moving along the wall towards the south. Our depth is 2058. Is there a way we can come down a little more? Video, depth? can we uh, light up the distance? Go ahead, Rich. Yeah, we can come down some. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, pilots, the really ship seen is coming to a stop. At this depth. In terms of corals and sponges and other sessile fauna, we've seen a lot of very cool things at this depth. <laughs> horizontal stratification in the rock. You see failures on the rock, fractures, debris. In that area we just passed where part of the wall had given away, it looked like the uh, dark color that we've been discussing in the IM, um, which Jason is suggesting is uh, iron oxide, um, looked like it was continuous with these uh, stratified bands that we're seeing. The wall hasn't given away, which I think no, supports this is Jason. Idea. I think Jason's our next move is 195. Mm -hmm. 195. There's a stocked crino yeah, crinoid in the it, middle. Uh, 25 yellow. Meters. Sure. 
It's not going to pull us too far off the wall. No, Video it's actually start turning to go us in. a little closer to the wall. I'm pointed 195 right now if you look at the sonar. Okay. Copy that. And you wanted 25 it's meters? It's not a crinoid. Yeah. Got it. Is that a Tina 4? Bridge, this is now. Hi, uh, we'd like to put in another ship move, uh, 25 meters at 195 degrees and 0.1 knots. Yep, that's correct. Thanks. Any interest in seeing this some more? No, well, I'm sorry, we can keep going, okay. thank you. Yeah. Yeah, if we can work our way down just a little bit, you know, to try to get a little deeper with the ROV, that's fine. Not making it's a different quiet. ship move or anything like that. We start to go too much uh, deeper watch lead. We'll have to adjust Sirius's uh, path. Yeah, okay. I'll have to move further uh, west if we want to go deeper. If you can stay on this face, yeah, I can try to stay right here around this step. Is that all right with you, co-pilot? Yes, absolutely. Okay, so Gorgia, I think. Can you zoom in, Pink? Of course. Standby video. When you get a chance, can we call it a lot long? Yep. Go ahead, video. We have 39 degrees, 39.8171 north, 71 degrees, 11.7690 west. And then a Mac is to zoom tight in to the associate. Oh. Go ahead, video. <laughs> it's all right, watch lead. Large brittle star. And again, that dark pink mass. Uh, we've seen that a couple of times, possibly. Egg, eggs in the middle. Go ahead, video. Do you got any more? Uh, let's come on. Any interest to see that red patch uh, closer? I can get you there. Sure, that'd be great. You got time, Bobby. All right, video, let's uh, start to go in. I'm gonna slowly drift in my corner into the wall anyway. Looks like a egg mass. Do you see that dark thing moving just below um, the egg mass uh -huh. that's along the axis? In view now.
a little bit wide video. Hold that. So right under that um, red egg mass, there's a purple, maybe a worm. Center now. All right, go ahead. Yeah, that's come on. Not working uh, quite how I wanted to set my corner in. Um, are you happy with that, Tim? Video, let's try again. Yeah, I'm not sure we're going to get much better, but I, I really was curious if that was a, a polychaete. Maybe one more zoom here would, be, would do it. Obstructed. I'm not sure we're going to get a much better view anyway. You still have time if you want to try coming out from the other side. Yeah, that's there was okay. Some video earlier with it moving. I think I'll have to go back to that. Yeah, I think, it, yeah. That's good, Bobby. Thank you. Can we get a snap zoom Thank under you. the ledge? Video go. There's a cup coral. And then it looks to be dead. Hydroid underneath. Is that a different urchin? Thank you. Come on. Abundant sea urchins here. Our depth is 20.65. Are we slowing down the ship? No, he's been doing shorter ship moves, but he's still stringing them together, so we're good. Yeah, now are we still moving? Yeah, Jeff, I believe so. Might be able to get to like here and then just go. And we've seen this purple anemone. Go ahead, Bridge. I think, Scott, you had a genus okay, name thank you. for this, possibly, from a. Okay, the ship move is just completed. Daphne. Okay. Video, let's uh, start going partial. So let's make the next one 210. And the percentage. And 20 meters, 210. Most yep. likely, Actorine is no billets. No, further away. Further. Turn it more to the right. Yes, of course. Okay. Wait, and we can just keep going. Copy that. Any interest on seeing either of these closer? No, it's perfect. Thank you. Okay. Let's come on. Bridge, this is Nav. Uh, we'd like to put in another ship move 
Uh, 20 meters at 210 degrees. Three, four, one. And 0 0.1 knots. Okay. Yeah, that's correct. Thank you. Singeds. We're moving south along the east wall of Block Canyon. We're at a depth of 2064 meters. Our local time is 15.05. Okay, everyone, we have 15 minutes left in the dive. 15 minutes. Like it drops off again, probably to the base of the wall. Pretty amazed at how every single dive in these canyons have been quite different. I know. Very dynamic down here. They're so different that you really can't get a uh, sort of rhythm or a feel for what yeah, you sort of go in with these ideas about what you expect to see based upon your accumulated knowledge, and it rarely, at least for me, has mm -hmm. been what I expected. Mm -hmm. Close a few times, but, you know. with the exception of the seep dives. Yeah. I think the dynamic nature of these canyon walls, the geology of, of this area mm -hmm. is really playing a very important role in coral and other sessile fauna distribution. Yeah. We're at a depth of 2070. So this is video, I've got a challenge for the scientists. You guys could describe a, uh, whether it be shore side or ship side, uh, describe to us the uh, crinoid in, in sort of layman's terms. Well, a crinoid is an echinoderm, actually, it's a feather star, so closely related to the sea stars and ophioroid brittle stars and the brisingids that we're seeing. Video, let's uh, snap zoom so, uh, to this guy. We were talking earlier that it was a type of living fossil, and, and really that just meant that they were discovered as fossils before anybody actually saw one alive. They're very uh, common in the deep sea, and they occur at very deep depths. And there, are they uh, absorbing the nutrients through the those feathery type material or They're through the base? They're not absorbing nutrients through that. Let's come on. <laughs> it's hard to see in the views we're looking at here, but these crinoids have tube feet just the way that uh, 
D-stars have tube feet and these ophiroids have tube feet. And so those feathery arms that you see sticking out, the tube feet are running in rows along those arms. And they can uh, flick little uh, zooplankton from the water column Video, it's down the, into uh, a thing. furrow in that arm and then channel it down towards the mouth, which is at the uh, center of all the arms. So the mouth is actually pointing upwards, unlike the sea stars. Some more of those circular burrowing patterns with the concentric mm -hmm. rings. But what what are those, Brendan? We don't really know. Yeah, we've okay. We've had a long series. The first time that we saw them, we had a long series of discussions about what they might be. Yeah, everything from I guess. I think the most common idea was worm. A seranthid, seranthid, tube anemone, burrows, yeah. maybe. These are not as concentric as the ones we saw earlier. Yeah. The two on the bottom left are. Yeah. The, those ones are a little bit deformed, the bigger ones. That's good. Thanks, Bobby. So, looks like I need to come up, huh, Jeff? Uh, you've been working your way down a little bit, but uh, you can work along that depth. So uh, I'm happy here. So, Bobby, with that description of the uh, crinoids in the, the eating patterns, it'd be nice to see if we can't capture uh, the backside and the front side really sharp on uh, nice looking crinoid. Oh, we have to find one first. I've really got 10 minutes to do it. What do you have to find? Go ahead, Bridge. I'll Thank you. Talk about finding a uh, nice crinoid to sort of showcase what I just described with the uh, feet and feelers and also the uh, mouth part. Okay, pilots, we, what do you want our last ship move um, to be? Brian Kinlan, are you looking at the high pack uh, screen right now? 195 again. 195? Yep. Got and it. Um, what do we have, whatever we have time for, 25 meters or? Yeah, I think 25. Yep. yep. Let's do that. Copy that. I can be. Yeah, I, uh, let me pull it up. Yes. So a crinoid or a coral over to the Bridge, right. Bridge, this is Nav. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, can we so print another ship move for like 25 to meters get at 195 two, degrees and point one T2 knots? T2 or, or come up in depth? No, I, I just think that actually yeah, our current, great. following the, Thank this you. contour that we're doing, we're doing okay. a great job. If, good. All right. if we didn't have to come up right at 320, we could actually sneak right around the promontory on that wall. Okay. Contour, which would be, I think, neat. But Sounds good. You know, it's just me. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if operationally there's any constraint that makes it a hard uh, bottom time come up at 3:20. But if there's, if they can. Crinoid. Since we dove an hour late today, uh, minded in our hearts to extend it by 20, 25 minutes. I think it would add a lot to the science value of the dive. Watch the uh, pilot here. Yeah, go ahead. I can tell you that no one sitting here in the front row can make that decision. Yeah, so no, we, we know the constraints behind that. If you are interested, that. you gotta talk to uh, yeah. ROV lead. Yeah, um, but we really, what we need to do, and, and I know there's some imaging that wants to be done as well, but we, we kind of just need to follow this contour that we're on now um, further towards um, the south. Roger so what that. we're doing as far as we can go is important. Well, we're pretty much there at the end of our tether. The ship is still moving, and as soon as we have more tether, we'll move out some more. Roger. So while we're sitting here, you have a great crinoid. Yeah. We're just going to take some footage, then we'll stretch right out again. So video, if you want to start going in. I don't know if we're going to get what Cool. Uh, science was talking about, but can crinoids like this move, or are they attached permanently?
you can uh, mm-hmm. kind of sort of see those um, tube feet. They appear as kind of whitish, transparent things sticking off of uh, the branches and the side siri. You need me get the very small, video? so they're you know hard to image. I can't hear you. Sorry, just sort of hang there, just let it float around. So we can see the little Siri that he's describing. There, you can see it really well on the arm that's at about uh, lower left of the screen, so you could clearly see two feet in that image. Uh, might be me slipping. Let's come on. Let's see if I can get you a uh, one just a little bit closer, and then I will push out right away. Jeff, take my camera, please. Got it. Let's uh, do what we can. Yeah, I may have gotten him out of the light. Come look at the lower one. Can we tilt down, Jeff? Yellow. Okay. I think we got enough of these two. You can. All right, let's come wide and on. let's go out for science. Okay, you've gained a little tether. You can I move did. along. Full wide, please. You are full wide. Excellent. And it looks like we're reaching the tip of the promontory here because I can see the cliff arcing back around to the left now. Video, uh, let's snap zoom on the second one as I uh, drive by. Can I have my uh, joystick back, please? Looks like one associate may be tucked away in there. Oh yeah. On the back side, yeah. Okay, let's come on. Okay, uh, everybody, I got a confirmation from Brian that 3.35 is our off-bottom time. 3.35, excellent. 3.35. There's a crinoid with the facing you. I don't know if you have time to wedge into the left. Uh, we're just going to keep going around yep. this. Yeah, we need we need to. We've got a little bit of extra time. It'd be nice to make this turn on the corner. Nav uh, 335, huh? So 1935. So we got about eh, 10, 12 more minutes. My looking co pilot. Everything looks good. I wouldn't linger, but. Video, if you want to snap zoom on the lower one. Come on. I know you would have wanted more, but time to move on. Yep, just keep cruising. 
Just if a target of opportunity is the mouth, the center disc of the yeah. creature. Yeah, it's going to be hard to get any of these guys. So I'm out of my tether again, so I'm coming up. They've gotten deeper and deeper. Yeah, there's that, that one face keeps edging a little bit deeper and deeper. We're at a depth of Go ahead, Bridge. Okay, pushing out. Thank you. And right. Okay, um, Tony, our next move can be 180. Two south, copy that. Yeah. And um, 40 eight. meters, okay. Uh, a little bit less than that. Okay. Just because I can't see too far ahead. Make it 30 meters, I'm good with sure. that. Sure. Passing over a large bridge, Just debris field, and now seeing more horizontal stratification uh, in the rock face. Ship move? Can you get my sonar, uh, please? 30 meters yeah. at 180 due south and 0.1 knots. Yeah, that's so this looks to be Thank a pretty you. decent sized uh, something or other here, Jeff. You're steering clear of it. The black coral up top. There you go. Can we get a snap zoom on the coral? We the can. Middle? Video? interesting about the black corals this is a second or third black coral that we've seen on these vertical faces mm -hmm. right and if we're to take anything away from uh we we don't know what the uh well i think uh, scott said it was i can't remember what like 0.44 or 0.6 uh microns radio growth back. per year so yes come on they're relatively slow growing, not as slow growing as other ones, yet they're the ones that are holding on. So, so you can just lateral along this. Let's that go one more video. It was that purple thing that was uh, off camera right. And you can see where part of the wall has collapsed, the crest is falling off yeah. to the right. There's a small brittle star in there. The yep. Next, so. Watch that. Well, there's quite a bit of strong current pushing me uh, right to left. So That's good, guys. Thank you. Heading north. We're just waiting a little bit for Sirius to catch up. Anthemastis. Can you like look up and right? Thanks. Another Chrysogorgia too. Want us to go higher? Stay at this depth. No, stay at this depth. Okay. Actually, cut, maybe even come down a little deeper. Yeah, you got room to go down.
You noted, uh, Bobby, I just, you said a current was coming from the north because we had a current coming from the south earlier. Uh, no, it, sorry, going, it's, pushing it's going to, to the north. It's going to the north, yes. yes. I may have misspoke. No, you, you had it. I think you're tugging on me. Probably. Coming back up. Fly trap an enemy. 20, 62 meters. Another fly trap. Large Brasingid. Oh, looks like there's some interesting stuff there. Yeah. Zoom in that. Video. Let's go ahead. Thank you. Two dead cup corals. Looks like a dead sponge and a crinoid and a brittle star. Happy with that, Watchley? I'm very happy, thank you. Let's go on. That was a Brasingid. I'm sorry, not a crinoid. Another view up. Thank you. Noticing a few more fly trap and enemies here. Looks like you're directly uh below the waypoint. There's the noggin. A few more brisingids. Yeah, can we uh, keep following this around? Yeah, uh, we're going to have to wait for Sirius some, um, uh, but we'll, we'll do what we can. Video, let's get a snap zoom in there. Bobby, we could speed the ship up. Point two. We could. Uh, we don't have many minutes left. Uh, whatever you think. Yeah, it's clear in front of me. Nav, you want to have them? Uh, sure. Uh, find out how much they have left. You could add yeah. Add a little more to it. Come have some videos. Come on. I'll give Bridge you something else that's have. right near here. I was wondering how much uh, we have left in this current move. Could we tack on another 10 and kick up the speed to 0.2 knots? Uh, 10 meters at 180. Yeah. Thank you. Looks like you got the mouth dead dead ahead if it doesn't turn. Yeah, it starts going. Another crinoid. Chief Ocean, please lay the captain's cabin. Chief Ocean, please lay the 
late in Captain's cabin. Can't bring it out. Yeah, come on. Thought I was gonna have to push it and me uh, sneak in some as this. Watch it. I don't know if you just heard. Uh, we sped the ship up to try to make it around this corner. Okay. For you. I'm um, waiting on some tether, so we're just going to get a quick few seconds here of awesome. this carnoid. That's great. Thank you. A few more glass sponges here. Right, video, you can try again. Go full if you have it. There's a sponge here on the right with a brittle star Yeah, on we it. can do that. I'm not waiting. sure we're going to get the picture of the crinoid we wanted anyway. Video, if you want to go for that. Thank you. Ooh, this is a good one. Good view of the disc. Andrea, can you tell on your monitor what is uh, projecting from the wall there after finishing this uh, close-up to the right? Uh, Scott, I didn't follow that. Projecting from the wall? There's a colony of something. It may be a Chrysogorgia. It may be a mm. black coral. Oh, it may yeah. be a sponge. But it's uh, on the right. Um, along the wall, you can see it sticking out into the pool. Yeah, can you see top. it there? Yeah, I see it. So, Bobby, there's this coral sticking out. Yep. You got it? At your best angle if you keep the darkness behind it. Is that what you want, Roland? Yeah. If you put the yellow rock, it's hard to show the different polyps. Let's see what we can do. And there may also be a coral. Right there to your l left, still in your screen. Bobby, you got, th you got three minutes left. So after this, you might want to push out and around the corner and just see what you can Is that what you're looking at? Yep, that's what I was looking at. Thanks. Okay, thanks. Okay, you can pull out. Uh, we should at least image it, uh, science. That's about the best image we're going to get rolling, so it's not yeah, all that great. Yeah, but it's, i got to have it focus for a second. And is that a black coral at the base? Best I can pull Around it out. the corner on the boulder below. Yeah, let's come wide. Okay, Watch lead, we have about two minutes to like do what we're going to do, so we're going to push uh, out. Pathopathies are maybe, no, we're too deep for layopathies. Awesome, can you just snap on that orange coral yeah. coming up? And then pan up maybe, there may be some more corals above. This is pretty neat, actually. Go ahead, Bridge. Pathies. Video, go ahead. Okay, copy ID that. It. Thank you. That's fine, thank you. Coral rubble there, too. Okay. Yep. Cup coral Cup rubble. Cup coral rubble. Bobby, the ship's coming to a stop if you want to get some better imagery for the last minute and a half or so. And here's... Tilt up, so there looks like there's something there's more some on the edge there. Yeah. And you can That's look good. Up. Can you like look right and thanks? I think those are corals, not percentage. Do you want to look up there? No. Nope. I watch mm -hmm. that. Okay. And here's a right turn. Yep. Thanks. Abundant brisigids. Coming back down some. Here's a looks, looks up and down. That's great. 
You got about one more move. Watch, see. What, what would you like here? Go down. I can continue around. Around, around. Okay. Thank you. Should show the top edge by. Yep, bring camera up. I'm yep, trying to bring camera I'll up. Look at all the Brasingids. And also light it for Sirius nicely, John. Nice view from Sirius. Sirius. Yeah. And then a zoom out into that ledge off on the right. What? That's going to be your. Uh, it's going to be my last. Final move. Final mm -hmm. move. Snap Switching out. Under ledge. That was very interesting. Lots of uh, mobile suspension feeders, but no really, central suspension uh, feeders on this um, nice to... promontory here. Mm -hmm. Must be really shearing a lot. Creso, Gorgian, uh, Flychap, thank you. I don't see any yeah. cup corals. Come on. Yeah, I'm at the end of my tether. Yeah, you're pulling me around. Thank you guys so much for doing that. We really appreciate it. Sure. You bet. Yeah, absolutely, guys. Thanks a lot. Video. I'm coming back left here. Let's. Uh, it's time to go, Bobby. Yeah. Well, I have to come back towards you anyway. So let's go partial, just as we uh, are lateraling left. Hold that right there. Okay, it's about ready. About time to leave bottom. We're currently at a depth of 20.63, and our local time is 15.35. All right, you can come on now. We made it around this corner here of the promontory. We're lined up beautifully. Several bersinged sea stars. Um, but overall, so geology very interesting in this Do area I even have of Black to run Canyon. Too? Looks to me like. But not a lot of coral sponge diversity here or abundance. Let's see, that's going to put a half part see in. Chrysogorgia acanella and bethpathies. Yeah, so I, have to run under, I do have to run underneath. Uh, as well as several dead cup corals and dead coral, cup coral rubble. Venus flytrap and enemies. And hex hexactinellid sponges. Many of the hexactinellid sponges had brittle star associates. We also observed hundreds of Ophiomuseum type brittle stars and uh, white echinus like urchins. And stocked crinoids were very common during this dive as well. Okay, pilots, the ship is lined up nicely. Its heading is pointed to 196. And if we pull straight ahead, that'll bring us into deeper waters. So we're going to have our okay. conference Looking call today at 415. Yeah, can we uh, start coming up, Jeff? I don't like doing this in, in near the canyon walls. Okay. And thanks, everybody, for hanging out with us today online and in the chat room. Yes. Thanks, everybody, for continuing to participate and weigh in and give information and share information and all the fun stuff. Thanks, Seaside, for all the hard Thank work. Thank you guys very much. Thank you. We'll talk to you soon.